and the rash is gone. Happy Sunday, guys. Ever have a rat problem? Know anyone who ever had a rat problem? Want to see the ultimate rat catching trap that essentially cannot fail? Well, here, have a look. Well, I had a rat in my house out in the country that beat a dazzling array of traps over several weeks until I decided on the ultimate solution. So here she is. Uh, I use an old angle grinder blade as the substrate for the two electromagnets you see here. And basically I had a 220 volt infrared sensor so I had to get a relay to bring it to 12 volt and 12 volt is used for the electromagnets. Key thing is the IR sensor off the shelf, 12 bucks here, and it's got duct tape on it so it focuses only on where the bait is. In an open floor, no suspicion from the rat. That's what makes it work, always. Now that's a big claim, always working. Well, let's take a look. Well, here he is. And the thing was, I could not catch this rat in several weeks, right? We ran eight different traps, would not go near them, sniff, move away. I even had a $200 CO2 powered special trap with a tube, with a hair trigger up inside the tube. And that usually, you know, they're not familiar with it. But no, he went up the tube several times, backed off, decided it was a device. So would not fall for it. So it was at the extreme end of rat shy rat. But I figured, okay, what is infallible? Well, what is infallible is a trap where he cannot sense or cannot be shy. In other words, a trap that's invisible. And therefore, I decided I had to make a cage, suspend it up in the air a foot or so, and use an infrared sensor targeted sharply on bait on an open floor. In other words, it's not sensible as a device, but it's infallible because when the beam is broken at the bait, it will drop silently. As the electromagnets let go, there is no sound. So there is no stimulus to run away or get out from under the cage. The cage drops silently. There's a bang, which I heard from the next room 15 minutes after first setting it up. And that's it. He's trapped. And of course, chicken wire is key because he can chew away, but he cannot get through wire. And also you just slide underneath the cage, uh, very thin plywood, very easy to do. Put a couple of screws in and then you can take the whole problem outdoors. Now I have a place out in the middle of nowhere so I've had to trap uh, many many rats over the years. Uh, I'd have no problem dispatching with this fella uh, but my wife was with me and you know what after several weeks of battling with this guy I gotta say fair play to him. So I decided to be merciful in victory if you will and I brought him, obviously, ran half a mile away, not taking any risks with this fella. Uh, and I let him out. And here it is. The naughty little monkey. Well, you can't beat an engineer. That's the lesson from this. So that'll do it, folks. Remember, properly applied engineering can solve any or all issues. In fact, I have workshops available right now that you can sign up to for a nominal fee. I'll be doing live workshops on resilience and mental strength, incorporating the very best of all the psychological science that I've worked with for over 20 years. I helped a lot of people and ran my own life, of course. And I've also got one on critical thinking and problem solving, uh, skills that are very needed in today's world and with all the challenges ahead. So the link's down below. It'd be fantastic if you could join up and join the crew. We got a lot of people coming in already. I'll do live workshops and I'll split them up so we have manageable numbers because it's going to be very interactive. Only if you choose, of course, you can fill out the exercises during the workshop probably run two hours plus, maybe three hours. Uh, and you can privately just learn yourself and watch the inputs from all the other attendees who decide to share their own thoughts. But either way, it's going to be a fantastic group session. We're going to learn a hell of a lot. I promise you that. So links down below. Great if you can get on board. Really appreciate it. Hope to see you there. Thank you.